Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course of problem, the main course. In this problem, it is illegal for two people to use two adjacent urinals at the same time as it should be. It is obviously illegal for them to use the same urinal at the same time. Okay. So there are n urinals in a row in Sapland. Find both the maximum and minimum number of people that can use an urinal simultaneously so that there is no place for another person to join. So this is a simple case. So let's see. We will have urinals, three urinals. So let it be three urinals are here. The maximum people, the maximum people we can have at here, one person, one person here. These are satisfying both the conditions. So two is the maximum. And what is the minimum? Minimum will be 1. In what case? If we put our human, if we put our human here, then these both will be occupied because we can't make a person stand uh, adjacent to someone, right? So this is not right place, this is not right place if this person stands here. So minimum is 1 here. Okay, <clears throat> let's see 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, at how many place one can stand here, 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 so maximum is 3, minimum, talk about minimum, so if we can put here and here, so those will be occupied, right, so we have, we will have how much? We will have 2. Minimum is 2. So, we can make a conclusion. Can we make a conclusion here? Okay, let's try to make it. That it will be n divided by 2. And take the seed as maximum and floor as minimum. So, will that work? Will that work? Just think about it. This will not work. Why it will not work? We'll see an example. So let's suppose 6. In case of 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The maximum 1, 2, 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one is extra. So we'll remove this. So we can have 3 persons for maximum, right? What about minimum? Let it be you have occupied this one, then you have occupied this one. So now, how many? Only two. But if we divide by two, then take the floor value, it will give three. That means that is wrong. Are you getting my point? That is wrong. So that will create a problem for here. <coughs> so we need to make combination such that it should give the right answer. And how it is possible? So let's say, let it be 6 divided by 3. What it will give? It will give 2. And that is the minimum. Right? And if we divide 6 divided by 2, that will give 3. That is maximum. Can we apply same thing? In this case, 5, let's see, 5 divided by 2, we yeah. have, we need to take the seal value, so it will be 3, and 5 divided by 3, that is, 5 divided by 3, that is, 2, why 2, we need to take, take again seal value, we need to take the seal value in both cases, so you will get 5 and 2, let's see, the case for n equal to 8, then you can understand better. n equal to 8, so 8 divided by 2, that will give you 4, and 8 divided by 3. What it will give? It will give 2. Will it? No, it will give 3. Seal value, 8 divided by 3 is 3. So, 
can we can we say that let's let's make it 1 2 3 4 5 6 and mm, we need to make 7 and 8 okay let it be like that so minimum minimum is here one here one here and one here not here we can have one here so total of three percent minimum is three so you can get your answer by this so let's discuss the code for this okay what you need to have you can for maximum you can divide n by 2.0 and take the seal value for minimum you can divide n by 3.0 and take the seal value okay hope you under, understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding hello Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course problem, the main course. In this problem, it is illegal for two people to use two adjacent urinals at the same time as it should be. It is obviously illegal for them to use the same urinal at the same time. Okay. So there are n urinals in a row in Sapland. Find both the maximum and minimum number of people that can use an urinal simultaneously so that there is no place for another person to join so this is a simple case so let's see we will have urinals three urinals so let it be three urinals are here the maximum people the maximum people we can have at here one person one person here these are satisfying both the conditions so two is the maximum and what is the minimum? Minimum will be 1. In what case? If we put our human, if we put our human here, then these both will be occupied because we can't make a person stand uh, adjacent to someone, right? So this is not right place, this is not right place if this person stands here. So minimum is 1 here. Okay, <clears throat> let's see five. So one, two, three, four, five. Right. At how many places one can stand here, here, here? So maximum is three. Minimum. Talk about minimum. So if we can put here and here, so those will be occupied, right? So we have we will have how much? We will have two minimum is two so we can make a conclusion can we make a conclusion here okay let's try to make it that it will be n divided by two and take the seal as maximum and floor as minimum so will that work will that work just think about it this will not work. Why it will not work? We'll see an example. So let's suppose 6. In case of 6, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The maximum 1, 2, 3, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one is extra. So we'll remove this. So we can have 3 persons for maximum, right? What about minimum? Let it be you have occupied this one, then you have occupied this one. So now, how many? Only two. But if we divide by two, then take the floor value, it will give three. That means that is wrong. Are you getting my point? That is wrong. So that will create a problem for here. <coughs> so we need to make combination such that it should give the right answer and how it is possible 
So let's say let it be six divided by three. What it will give? It will give two, and that is the minimum, right? And if we divide six divided by two, that will give three. That is maximum. Can we apply same thing in this case five? Let's see. Five divided by two. We have. We need to take the seal value. So it will be three. And five divided by three. That is five divided by three. That is two. Why two? We need to take take again seal value. We need to take the seal value in both cases. So you will get five and two. Let's see the case for n equal to eight. Then you can understand better. N equal to eight. So eight divided by two. That will give you four. And eight divided by three. What it will give? It will give two. Will it? No. It will give three. Seal value eight divided by three is three. So can we can we say that let's let's make it one two three four five six and mm, we need to make seven and eight okay let it be like that so minimum minimum is here one here one here and one. Here, not here. We can have one here. So total are three percent. Minimum is three. So you can get your answer by this. So let's discuss the code for this. Okay. What you need to have. You can for maximum you can divide n by two point zero and take the seal value. For minimum you can divide n by three point zero and take the seal value. Okay. Hope you under understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.